How you guys doing? This is Blocked Content. Today we're talking about the Nintendo NX. As you guys know, this is the new Nintendo console that is rumored to be unveiled very soon. And today we are actually talking about Blocked Content's predictions about this new console. What will it be? What kind of games will be on there? How will it feel in your hands? All that kind of stuff. Um, I thought it would be really cool to have this top 10 list out uh, before the announcement because I think it will be really soon. So I wanted to get this video out there to just have the predictions flowing and have you guys thoughts on it too in the comments. The idea of a new Nintendo console and specifically what we've heard about Nintendo NX has fans totally crazy and I understand you guys I am full hype mode the hype train is you know leaving the station I am incredibly excited for this console so without any further ado this is the top 10 Nintendo NX predictions welcome to top 10 number 10 all right so first off this is an easy one you know everyone's been saying it you know it's been rumored it will be a handheld console hybrid. And what we mean by that is that it won't just be a console in your living room that you can play on the TV, but you can also take that console with you while you're traveling and going about your business, you know, maybe uh, going with the train or whatever, you will have that controller in your hands. And supposedly it will of course be very close to what the Nintendo Wii U has been doing, which is giving you this very cool controller in your hand with a screen on it, um, but you couldn't really take that screen anywhere far, you know, even if I were to play in my bathroom, the connection would be lost, because it was supposed to be this living room setting. I think that's what Nintendo also said. We don't want this to be a handheld, we want this to be a living room thing, and this asymmetrical gaming meant that one person has maybe the advantage over the other players, which you know, it resulted in some very cool, unique gameplay experiences. One of my favorite ones is actually the game Nintendo Land, where you have this chase me uh, game with, uh, um, you know, the Toads trying to chase Mario uh, and all other sorts of games that give one player the advantage uh, and the other players as a team up and try and beat that player. I thought that was really cool. Uh, I think ne not necessarily the Nintendo NX will follow in those footsteps because it will be a handheld console hybrid. So. In that sense, I think the focus will be on, if you are at home, you'll be at home. You'll, uh, you know, totally focus, and focus will actually probably be the name of this console, if the rumors are right. You'll focus uh, purely on what you're doing at that moment, which is playing a game in your living room with your friends, and not necessarily, you know, have all that asymmetrical gameplay going on. Uh, and then the focus shifts when you use it as a handheld device and you, you know, take it on the road. And that focus has a totally different gameplay experience because what do you want to do when you're on the road gaming? You know, you want these bite-sized experiences. You don't want these long travels, these big adventures. You just want something different on the road than you would at home. You know, you have a little less time, you have a little bit more stress probably. Um, so I think these gameplay experience will differ and I wouldn't be surprised, as I said in one of the previous videos, that the gameplay might even change in the games if you decide to take the console with you. So um, I suggested that maybe a Metroid game would be from a first person perspective on the console and while you take it with you, uh, it changes to a side scrolling game because that works just better on a handheld device uh, and it would change up the pace and make it, you know, um, a viable choice for people to take it on the road because those kinds of gameplay experiences are much more linear, are uh, much more suited to a stressful environment or an environment that keeps changing rapidly. So yes, number 10, it will be a handheld console hybrid. I think that's all but confirmed right now. Number nine. We think it will make the Wii U and 3DS obsolete, even though they say it totally won't. Um, here's why, I think the Wii U and 3DS have been doing crazy cool things. The Wii U is this very cool home console with actually quite a lot of good games. You know, think of Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, think of Yoshi's Woolly World, think of Mario Kart, think of Super Smash Bros, Mario 3D Land World. Everything on that system is awesome. Uh, it doesn't have that well of a third party support, but it's gotten some cool exclusives as well. Um, and I think the 3DS is just hitting it out of the park uh, every turn it goes because there's always something on that system and Nintendo is always developing first party titles for that as well um, and they are two very different beasts and uh, they have almost no interconnectivity and I think that this new Nintendo NX will uh, render all of these two things obsolete because I think 
that if you want this next gen game, like a Mario or a Zelda game, you will get it on the NX because it will look better, because the resolution will be better, um, and you can take it with you on the go. Why would you buy it for the Wii U then? And same for 3DS games. I think they will develop these games to play on NX because you can take them with you. So what if they make the new Animal Crossing? Why would you play an Animal Crossing game on the 3DS if you can also have it as a home console beautiful game and take it with you as well? So I think that even though they're trying to say, look, that Wii U that you bought, you can still play games on those, you can still, you know, buy separate things for that, I don't think so. And I think it's the same for the 3DS, they won't bring out new stuff because everything will be focused on the Nintendo NX, you know, a code name maybe Focus. But yes, I think that Focus is a very good word to analyze this because I think one central console handheld and nothing more. Number 8 Number 8 is a very specific one because I think that everything you own will still work with this system. And I'm talking about all that, you know, plastic stuff that you have in your drawers at home. It's the Wii remotes, it's the Wii wheels, the balance boards, and even maybe your 3DS system. I think everything will still work with the Nintendo NX. I think it will still come with a sensor bar, I think it will still have motion controls somewhere, uh, and I think that Nintendo wants to put the emphasis on all those things that you got, all those things that you bought, they're not for nothing, you can still use them in multiplayer games, so even though uh, one player has this very cool, you know, almost, you know, Wii U gamepad-like uh, controller, I think that other players will still be able to plug in their Wii modes and hopefully GameCube controllers that support, they need that support for the Smash Brothers audience. Um, and I think it will all still work. I think Nintendo is very smart about uh, having that replay value with the things that you buy and not necessarily having to buy new controllers for every system. So that was the case with the Wii U. We never got multiple game pads. It was always just in, you know, almost a complete sequel to the Wii. Uh, but I also think that the Wii U gamepad will now be obsolete. I don't think the Wii U gamepad will be, uh, y you can't use that thing with a console that has its main gimmick surrounding it's Wii U but better, you know? The controller that it has probably will be exactly like the Wii U controller, but it, you will be able to take it with you on the go. I mean, that's what everybody is imagining, so if that's the truth, that Wii U gamepad is just rendered useless, and the console itself, too. And I think that even though Wii modes and uh, all that accessory stuff, the zapper, all those cool things, you can still use that. Um, maybe the 3DS will be a system that will connect with it. Uh, in the same way that you could use your 3DS uh, in games like Smash Brothers to use as a controller, I think that that will still be possible with a new system. But you have a handheld now. You know, you have this handheld with a new console, um, and why would you have the need to play with the 3DS then? I think. The more we talk about the NX, the more it it becomes, you know, apparent that everything that we have will kind of work still, but we don't really want it to because we have this new, awesome, powerful thing. And talking about powerful, here's the next one. Number seven. Number seven, I think it will be powerful, just not as Xbox One or PS4 powerful. Uh, the reason that I say this is because Nintendo notoriously is always behind when it comes to graphics um, because, you know, the games always focus on, you know, these more cartoonish worlds, these more abstract worlds, uh, it focuses more on art style than graphic capacity. Uh, I think that's a very good thing for Nintendo, I think that's worked for them in the past. Uh, I don't necessarily think we need that killer app, Call of Duty, realistic game on a Nintendo console, that's just not why you buy that thing. Um, I do think that the games on Wii U that, you know, push the quality to the max look absolutely stunning. I think they can do crazy awesome things with that system. Um, so I think it will be a lot better with NX. I think that's the main uh, takeaway from this. But I think that Xbox One and PS4 will still be slightly powerful uh, compared to this console because I think that's just not where Nintendo's focus is. I don't think that's where they're gonna put their money's worth. I think they're just gonna focus on having this experience be something new for gamers, like Nintendo always does, and this has to be the thing you have to have in your home. You know, it's, it's something that no one's ever seen before. Xbox One is a very cool console, you know? It looks sleek, it has pretty good games, uh, it runs, you know, perfectly, and it's the same for PS4, but I think they are missing that mega component. I think that could be VR, uh, but it's not there at this moment, 
and Nintendo will launch a console that has its unique selling point from the start. So I think that's a lot more safe and I think that's a lot more interesting to players to come out with and not just necessarily the graphical capacity of that system, which I think will be still amazing and I think you know, we're gonna see some amazing imagery in Zelda can look 10 times more beautiful and we don't have to see trees pop in when you glide around the world. But I also think that we don't necessarily need to see every individual whisker of Mario's mustache. I don't think that's the kind of system. I don't think that's the kind of company that Nintendo is. And I don't think that they need that, you know? It's, it's like if you were to make a romantic movie and you were trying to push this car chase scene in it just because the car chase scene would look awesome. It doesn't really fit with the style, and so maybe it could fit, you know, by getting more third-party developers in. But I think that Nintendo's main focus should be, you know, the AAA games, and I hear that they're doing that. I hear that they're splitting their resources so smart that they can work on multiple AAA titles at a time. And if that is true, there will be a lot of cool launch titles coming, and that takes me with a perfect segue to the next point. Number six. Number six, there will be a mainline Mario launch game. Okay, so mainline Mario games always come pretty late in development cycles for these consoles. I think with Wii U, we were actually lucky that we got Super Mario 3D World pretty early in the cycle. Uh, with early, I actually mean, you know, actually a good year in, but that game was pretty polished, really cool, really good. It did a lot of things that people ne don't necessarily like about that series. People want to explore and not have this linear fashion, but it introduced multiplayer to a Mario 3D title, which I think now, you know, if you were to come out with something like Galaxy, people want multiplayer now. So uh, they kind of opened the window for that and I love it. But uh, talking about Windows, the launch window of this console is extremely important to whatever is going to happen with this system and how successful it will be. Um, they are reportedly launching very, very steadily with games like a new Donkey Kong, a new Pokemon game, a new Mario game. And I think that if you think about a new Mario game, what could that be? Could that be a sports title? Maybe a quickly slapped together Mario Party title that uses the new controller? I think that um, we might be talking about a mainline Mario game from the Tokyo studio that also did a Super Mario Galaxy games and Super Mario 3D Land and World. I think that if this console were to launch with a mainline Mario game, a little bit like the Nintendo 64 did with Mario 64, even though that came a little bit later, uh, that would just be, th that would make this the system to have because everyone would be lining up for that system if they had, th because the Mario games, the mainline 3D Mario games have always been some of the biggest sellers. And not just to talk about Super Smash Brothers because we know that will come out for an X and we know it will be remastered of some sort, but we'll come to that later. I think a mainline Mario game is what sells big time. If they have that at launch, they will kill. And I think that Nintendo is planning something because 3D World has been out for a long, long time. It's, it's a good game. I don't think it's dated at all, but I think we need something new. And I think that new might actually be Super Mario Galaxy 3. And the reason why I think it's going to be Super Mario Galaxy 3 is that that series has become so popular in so little time. Mario Galaxy has been one of the top rated games of all time in gaming history. Uh, and Mario Galaxy 2 built on that and did everything a little bit better, some things a little bit worse, but overall these games are rated 10-10 everywhere. So it would be a big surprise to me if they did not cash in on the Mario Galaxy franchise. You know, I think Mario 3D World did a lot of things really right. Uh, I think infusing some of that charm into a Mario Galaxy title, you know, maybe multiplayer Galaxy or something like that. You know, having a split screen might make it easier for two players to play. One on the screen, one on your, the screen in your hand. So Mario Galaxy 3, so hyped about that. We might do a discussion on that very soon because there are so many cool ideas that you can do in space with Mario, with Rosalina, with all the support characters. And I just think that if there was a launch game that was a mainline Mario video game, man, they would be lining up for Nintendo NX. And I think Nintendo knows that. And I think there's a studio right now in Tokyo working extremely long hours to get this to us. Number five. Number five is, I think, a very important thing for the Nintendo NX because I think the console will be your home. And with that, I mean, it will be the central thing in your living room, kind of what, you know, the Nintendo Wii U was supposed to be. 
Um, I'm talking about things like video streaming. I'm talking about things like YouTube uploading, uh, videos to the internet. I, I'm, I'm talking about calls. I'm talking about the internet. I'm talking about Netflix. I'm talking about a system that is a total package that you have in your house, kind of like what Xbox is doing, uh, what Microsoft is doing with the, with the Xbox One, but I think Nintendo will put an emphasis on uh, this whole new YouTube culture, you know? And I know I'm a very recent new part of this, um, which is basically people play video games, they, uh, they record their commentary, and they upload it to the internet. And Nintendo will supposedly give that share button on the controller option to record your own gameplay and immediately post it online on YouTube or something like that. If they were to include a microphone in that controller and you could already do your commentary, if you could click on the little camera on the controller, if there is one, and you can record yourself even while doing that, man, this will be a seller because not only does Nintendo do it really smart and take all that Let's Play money right in there, you know, in the palm of their hands, but it also kind of welcomes it. And even though it will take some money off that, it will make it easier for things. It will make it easier for kids to do it and for, to, for it to reach multiple, you know, you don't need an edit program on your computer, you know, you don't need uh, a horsepower in your system. You just need the Nintendo console, you just need the Nintendo games, and then you can be a YouTuber, you can stream, you can be popular, you can do all those kinds of cool things and everyone has a different voice, everyone has a different style. I think Nintendo um, might be cashing in on that a little bit. Uh, they're already doing that kind of with YouTube, but having a console that does something like that would be so smart. And I'm not even talking about things like having this central console in your house that can also, uh, you know, surf the internet, uh, that can also play Netflix movies. I think the Nintendo Wii U already does that, but no one really uses it because it's not as good as what you might find on a PS4. So I think the console will be your home in many ways than just one. Um, and I think that even for, you know, gamers, for YouTubers, it will be a very important system. And I really, I really think that's a very tight prediction, but um, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that one. Number four. Number four, there will be many remasters and ports coming out really, really soon. I think in the launch window, we will already find some ports and remasters. So I think games that came out for the Wii U or came out for late uh, Nintendo Wii will actually get an HD remaster and come out very close to the launch window. Uh, I think they need all the launch games that they can get with the uh, Nintendo NX. I think it will bombard us with awesome games. I think a lot of those games will be retreads of what we know. So I talked earlier about Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, which I think is an amazing game. It's awesome. Uh, I think there are a lot of things they they could have added um, uh, if they had more development time. Um, there is a lot of focus on characters, there is a lot of focus on charm, on color, I love that, but I think um, what Brawl introduced in the story mode, they could have built on that. They could have made something even more exciting, and having that board game feature was just a slap in the face. Um, might we see Super Smash Bros. for NX? or, you know, Super Smash Bros. Focus or whatever. Might we see it on this console at launch and will it be a reworked version of Super Smash Bros. for Wii U with maybe new characters, with maybe better online support, all that kind of stuff. I would be very surprised if they didn't do this, um, but I've seen some reports pop up online that this Super Smash Bros. game that reportedly is in the works for this console that Sakurai has been working on since the DLC kind of closed will be a new game in the series. And if that's true, then they have everyone's attention. If they just build on that foundation of Smash Bros. 4 Wii U, but, you know, expand it, have that story, have those different game modes, finally bring back the right target test mode, board the platforms, all those things that people love, introduce some new characters from Nintendo lore and not just third-party pandering, I think they, they will have an awesome launch game on their hands. I don't think that if it will be an original new Smash Brothers game, that it will come with launch. I think that it will come a year or a year and a half after the console is launched, because those games take time, those games uh, need balancing, and those games need to be hyped up with many, many events, many, many days of teasing. Um, but if they were to release a Smash Brothers game at launch, um, might that mean that we don't get a mainline Smash Brothers game for that console? That would be kind of sad. Um, I think everyone will be really disappointed by that, but we will need to see. The other game that I think that will be definitely remastered or ported um, is one that recently came out on the eShop for uh, the Wii U, The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I think they will put Skyward Sword 
on the Nintendo NX remastered in HD. You know, they will be like, um, before, you know, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild comes out, um, get back into the adventure and see how everything in the Legend of Zelda universe started with Skyward Sword. And now you can with a remastered version. I think they will pull something like that because this game is not that dated and I think the art style looks incredible in HD. This would blow people away, uh, the cool painted art style. Uh, I don't think it will lose its charm. I think it will do the same as uh, the Wind Waker did uh, on the Wii U, the HD version. And it would just be a very smart move on Nintendo's part. Because I don't think the Breath of the Wild will be a launch title. I don't think so. I think that it will come out earlier for the Wii U. And I think that it will come out later in the cycle of the NX. That, marketing-wise, would be the smartest decision. Then you could have both, you know? You could uh, actually profit from those two things uh, separately. And they did exactly that with Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U. Because the 3DS version came out earlier. It spoiled which characters would be in the game. It spoiled how the game worked. It spoiled even some stages. Um, it was a tough choice. It was uh, not a lot of people like that choice. But I think that uh, Nintendo really profited from that choice because everyone would buy the 3DS version because they would have Smash Brothers. And then everyone would buy the Wii U version because then they ha finally had the version that they needed, you know, the console version. I don't think everyone, yeah, uh, is anyone is still playing the 3DS game at this point. I think everyone sticks to the Wii U version and um, that's why I think it will be very important to have this central game in the series uh, at launch. Yes, so that's what I think. Uh, there will be many remasters and ports coming out very close to launch. Number three. Number three, so we talked about VR and we talked about what Sony is doing with that on the PlayStation 4. I think PlayStation VR is going to change the game. I haven't played VR myself. I've had a little VR experience at a Game of Thrones event uh, a long time ago. Uh, that was really something. I think that having it in a game like Star Wars would be so amazing. And I think Nintendo has to, you know, follow the VR trend, but I don't think that they are that interested in it. I think, this is the prediction, there will be VR, but it won't go any further than party or minigames. So I think that Nintendo sees VR as this cool gimmick that they can use for fun stuff and have characters pop up out of cards or something like that, kind of similar to the 3DS. But I think we will never see a Nintendo you know, Metroid Prime VR, where you're third person walking around the room with this VR set headset on. I don't think they will they will do that. I don't think that Nintendo necessarily wants to focus on another selling point while they have this supposed handheld console hybrid, um, because that would just depower uh, what that console was made for. I also think there will be no Star Fox VR, even though, you know, uh, the, the Star Wars games look amazing. You know, the X-Wing, a demo that we've seen with a VR looks so cool and just imagining that being Star Fox in your little ship um, Yeah, that, that could look amazing, but I don't think that Nintendo will follow that VR trend with their mainline franchises I think we can expect VR things in like party minigames kind of Nintendo land stuff um, VR I don't think is that interesting uh, to Nintendo itself because they have this console with a unique selling point and uh, VR would just kind of get in the way for Nintendo, I think. So maybe PlayStation will own that VR market because, you know, no one now is buying a VR thing because, you know, the sales are down drastically and no one seems to, to want to spend that much money to play these underpowered kind of weird games. Everyone is waiting for PlayStation to come out with a big VR thing. Uh, I don't necessarily think people are waiting for Nintendo to do that. And I think that Nintendo is not focused <laughs> focused on uh, this VR experience. Number two. Number two might seem very obvious, but I'm gonna say it. It won't be called the Nintendo NX. I think NX has such a cool ring to it. It looks good on paper, you know, NX, you know, it, it, it could make for the perfect logo and it kind of feels like next, like it's the next step. Um, but will it still be next when there's three consoles after this, when we're all all in gray? then it will just be weird. That was the Nintendo Next, you know, what? Next. Um, I think that Nintendo needs something a little bit more marketable. I think Nintendo needs something that speaks. I think that Nintendo needs something that explains um, maybe the idea of the console in a word. We've heard Focus coming out, you know, Nintendo Focus. So focusing on either uh, taking the, the screen with you and having that focused experience or playing at home uh, on your console. 
Nintendo NX, you know, really doesn't say anything about the console other than it's the next Nintendo console. Um, and the other consoles have kind of done it. The Wii was this playful, you know, Wii, it was the playful us, you know, it was a console for everyone. Wii U was a specific console for you because it had this screen that was personalized. It was your thing, you know, no one else had this screen. Uh, GameCube was how the console looked, it was a GameCube, you know, Nintendo 64, 64 bit, um, Nintendo Entertainment System because it was the first thing that came out. The Super Nintendo, it was more powerful than that. What will this new Nintendo console be called? I can't think of anything clever at this moment, you know. I think that a lot of people are thinking that it might just be called the Nintendo. Um, I don't think they will do that. I think Nintendo has a much larger plan. Uh, I think that they were working on the NX long before that we knew about the NX. I think they're already planning ahead to what might be coming. Uh, but the Nintendo NX won't be called the NX. Um, I, I'm, I'm not really sure if it will be called Focus. But I think that it will be called something playful, something very Nintendo, something cute, uh, but something that perfectly explains what the console is. I don't think it will be a flashy name, I don't think it will be a cool name, I think that it will be the right name. Number one! Alright, this is number one and I think this is one of the most important ones. I think that this console will change the game. And what I, what I think with change the game, what that means, is that Nintendo will come out with a concept that is very close to what the Wii did for gaming. The Wii changed everything people see about gaming. Kind of like what Pokemon Go is doing at this moment, and that's of course Nintendo too. Nintendo likes to innovate with these small ideas that, you know, pack a big punch to people. And everyone tries to copy the idea, no one really comes that close. Nintendo has these perfect little ideas that it can execute so well, and I think that what we can take away from this console that is, it, it will change the game. It will change the way people see video games, it will change the way people play, it will change the way people share content, it will change the way that video games are seen in the public eye. And that's what I wish for this console, that's my prediction, um, because I think that Nintendo needs this right now. The Wii U is doing very bad, the 3DS is coming to a close, we all feel that, and I think they need this mega successful moment so that they can, you know, venture into things like uh, movies, you know, we can have the Zelda movie finally, we can have Netflix series, uh, the theme park that's coming up in Universal that has to do really well because of the new console. I think Nintendo needs that mega boost in popularity that, you know, just Zelda Breath of the Wild can't give them. It needs this next clear step and I think that the Nintendo NX, the Nintendo Focus, the Nintendo Revolution, I think the next thing will change the game. I don't know how, I don't know how it will be seen, I don't know exactly what it looks like or what it does, I think that Nintendo is very secretive about it for a reason and I think that reason is, is because they know they have the next Wii on their hands and now from the failure of the Wii U they know how to market it. So those were our NX predictions, the top 10 NX predictions here on Blocked Content. I really hope you guys liked this video. Do you have any predictions of your own? Please let us know in the comments below. We will take a look at them and maybe for a next part of the video or maybe when the NX is announced, we can look at them and laugh. Um, you can also follow us on Twitter or Facebook at Squared Things, but please, of all things, press that subscribe button and become part of our family. So everything that we do, you can you know steadily see it coming and uh, be the first one to watch the video. And that's of course very important in today's culture. I want to thank you guys for watching. This was Blocked Content with the Top 10 NX Predictions.